lovely to meet you again i think i last spoke to you of course we met in dubai for an event where yes. we were performing um but we spoke about sun last time when i did the interview it was for sunflower which yes. was another z5 uh, series and funny it had its own quirks and all now this one i saw the trailer my god what i love the way it's the dialogues play you know the the play of words is funny and i'm sure it will be lovely because comedy and you are quite a you know combination yeah so okay uh, united you have to tell me how i pronounce it because i don't want to pronounce it wrongly and it means something else immediately so you can pronounce uh, wrong i'll correct you <laughs> it's kacche or kacche i want to know that what do you think what should be united <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't want to be wrong that's why i asked you because it's, with you it can be either ways that's why yeah but it is kacche uh, okay cha with the cha yeah kacche uh, that's why it's written as in wrong uh if you notice it the kacche word is written in hindi in the posters i know when there's communication mm. some other communication of course they have to write in english uh though they but mm. anybody can read in devanagari also so mm. but united kacche kacche means mm. illegal immigrants in this context uh which right, is right. not that it's a very popular word kacche is illegal but the, some people call them uh, kacche a kacha hai Uh, hmm. legally hmm. so right uh, people united kacche so people who are living right. in uk are called uh, hmm. living in uk illegally are called united kacche kacche they call but yeah they, and the okay. kacche get they live together and becomes they become united so yeah yeah okay. you can united kacche so what okay. you know. acha interesting because dubai is also a country of immigrants and we have a lot of communities living together um, who come yeah. legally also to the country and live together despite probably political differences in their own countries back home but here we all have one common uh, thing which is survival which is also there in uh, your series yeah so yeah people who are living in maybe dubai or anywhere in the world so survival is a story and also uh with these people who are living illegally in uk i don't know about the dubai situation how many i don't think you know people living there are illegally yeah but then no 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 in uk i'm talking people... about the experience the yeah. experiences for them of course experience is similar but the, for the for the, these people who are illegal they have different challenges altogether one is that they can't avail right. medical facilities because uh, mm-hmm. legal, uh right they'll be caught you know, yeah you know, you can't show their your identity rather you don't hmm. have an identity uh right. and then uh you you can't have a bank account and uh, you you cannot break traffic rules or any other rules because you'll be caught hmm. and you in a problem hmm. so, so there are many challenges so, so these challenges of course and they want to become pakka which is legal hmm. and, uh, the route to legal the they want to marry a local girl they want to mm-hmm. try their luck so mm-hmm. the stories about them the struggles mm-hmm. but is a funny take on yes that. it is it is and uh, i also saw satish in one of the in in yeah. partly that tell me about your experience working with him two comedians in two different generations how was the experience and what 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 magic what madness did you bring on screen so satish ji of course i have seen him since my childhood and uh, i i love his work his timing and the way he plays and very professional guy this when i was working with him he's extremely professional the way he uh performs is is rendition also he is a thorough professional um so i just learned to um how to be precise in your acting mm. So were there any things that you form also it's very kind also wow. okay were there any times that you fed off each other's energy because were there any innovations that you did because both of you are into comedy we had few scenes together and of course mm-hmm. it's, it's a comedy or any piece of art is a very is a collaboration especially comedy uh, 
so hmm. yes, so you have to vibe well and there there was a good communication and we did few scenes together and those scenes we had a good time and rather i was enjoying what he how he was performing and how he was doing taking up the scenes uh, hmm. so i had read the scene but once he was doing it he took it to another level hmm right also the fact that writing the the dialogues are very funny and it it's a play on the words and i love the fact that dhokke uh, bartan dhokke and all of that is part of the i mean whatever little i've seen so tell me about that process of uh, script and you and inputs and you know that's the funny part of it the whole language so we had a script and uh, every day once we reached the location there are there were the manoj sabarwal the writer was there on set and manav shah the director they were both of you know couple of other guys also so these guys are very quirky so whatever was written in the script they would suggest something and manoj would come up with a line or two which would again uh, make us laugh and we would incorporate then the scene would be written again uh, so we had a good time we had a you know good laughs also yeah also kya hai ki uh, script ki wajah se also it's also well made the trailer is also very well made it's an eight episode series as well also the fact that trailer is enough funny to in, to give you the interest it's not like telling you the story because most of the time aajkal trailers dekh ke lagta hai acha okay sometimes the trailers are better than films so this one is interesting because you want to know more about this character and his uh, the language play even with his mother on the phone and you know there is uh, mm. a lot of lot of things there so also the political uh, uh, not completely discourses but satire uh, you subtly to wo bhi fun hai uh, because it's different nationalities so it's interesting i mean for for me the whole thing is humor of course it's very difficult to make people laugh and you have succeeded in it and successfully it the vibe of sitcom which yeah. is a long story arc also and yeah uh, but there are the, the topics would come episodic also so mm. it is in episode in an episode there is something happening which uh, uh, is part of that episode only and then what is mm. happening in the next episode there is a longer arc also going on the story right. episode wise every episode has a challenge or a situation for these guys right. we want to another episode which is has another challenge but also a longer arc which is a ongoing story parallel. right also z5 global i'm happy that they're also doing something which is light hearted because a lot of content on ott is lovely nice but it's very dark so it's yeah. nice to see light heartedness because you also want to laugh and i think Uh, the yeah, content that's of one of the reasons that I wanted to be part of the show, I think mm. it's a beautiful thing that nobody else could thought of it so far with Z Five Global. I congratulate them. So just think, to have a sitcom, light-hearted uh, kind of slice of life show set up in UK or uh, abroad, and mm. and still relevant. Mm. So it's right. Nice. So I, right. I love. It. that's why i did it also i was excited so to be any, there. any characters that you met in real life that probably also you know you play out uh, i'm sure you met people yeah i i i am a punjabi and huh. i come across many people who, who who are settled abroad and who want to settle abroad and hmm. like, if you visit punjab then so more than a, any anything else they the I E L T S those exams. If you're coaching, yeah, some, yeah, yes. You see advertisements everywhere, hmm. so more than anything else. So I E L T S. So I initially I didn't know what it is. So I got to know that it make it prepare you for uh, the entrance exams of settling abroad. Yeah. Some yes. Unaware of, I was. So uh, people have this craze to go abroad, but I just want to tell that okay, there are people we hear stories hmm. who have made really big living abroad. Mm. but the stories which and there are people also who um have to struggle the initial mm. part the, the life is not so easy as it as, as it seems right right uh, the struggles are there and uh, it takes a while right 
go legally because otherwise the life is very difficult right also the fact that you uh, though it's a difficult life you've chosen to look at it in a humorous way because that's yeah. also also the coping mechanism yeah. most of us as immigrants use to go on with life yeah see now you guys are legal guys so do you have to cope up with one fact that okay you're living abroad you're missing your uh, few things in your life yeah. like is right. it, uh, uh, your people and home country mm. i understand mm. but then mm. these people who are illegal immigrants they have different challenges for them the achievement is becoming permanent which you guys are already yeah uh, yeah yeah. Already yeah. yeah true so so their ambition their drive is completely different though it, it has the resonance of uh, uh, similar life of course but then mm. it is mm. yeah it's not the same of course also the fact that uh, bonding with different communities different countries um, is an integral part of the struggle as well you see your differences and your similarities uh, and when you're out of the country you're all a group of immigrants yeah and each of them bring their sense of humor to a canvas yeah so how did you uh, deal with that because we are not talking about one country immigrants only we are talking about multicultural yeah so and were there similar experiences with each yeah, of them culturally uh we have similarities a few similarities here and there and uh, we we other the language is similar uh so we don't feel the difference as such of course uh but the context sometimes are different hello what happened no can disconnect ho gaya apne aap are you home okay. yeah yeah i'm at home i work from home oh, wow. so yeah yeah film fair nahi hai abhi so acha ha uh-huh. so i i quit last year so okay. yeah so i'm doing th- this is for my family. how nice yes okay uh, the question is now okay about comedy and you and the fact that you were part of uh, okay one question has has to be asked because you have shared the screen with salman khan and now you're going to share the screen with shahrukh khan what next i think my job is done <laughs> what i've come for uh, everything is bonus now hmm <laughs> yeah okay and more about comedy uh, because after sunflower which was again a z5 uh, global uh, series we we see you in this one so are you going to be doing more of comedy with z5 global i i really hope that they offer me <laughs> uh, but thanks to them for offering me united kacche as well and uh, right such a beautiful concept and right. i hope these people like it they hmm. we are able to entertain them and i'm looking forward uh, to more work with them of course hmm. right any other z5 global series that you've enjoyed watching yeah that the show sunflower ah your own show <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll not forget the scene with that mannequin last time also i asked you the same question where yeah. he yeah, yeah. right so thank you very much for speaking to me i'm sorry for this uh, small trouble but thank you and we'll be in touch thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. bye thank you so much manju thank, thank you thank you bye